On the morning of August 3rd, 2007, Jack and Renee Haley's oldest son, Austin, woke up in an unusually serious mood. That morning, he said, Mama, this is going to be a very bad day. Mama, I'm gonna miss you, Daddy and Dalton, so much. And he wept. I thought that maybe he had had a nightmare of some sort. Later that evening, Renee's father came to take five-year-old Austin and his younger brother Dalton to go fishing at the pond behind their home. Austin told his mother and father goodbye, and they left. Austin had a look on his face that, that of worry. He was, he was obviously worried and in turmoil about something. I just didn't know what. Looked in the distance, and my dad was coming up there and said, Honey, someone shot Austin right in the head. I don't think he's going to make it. Please, no. No, no, no. Please, Lord, help him. All of a sudden, the sunlight from that August 3rd day, it felt like it was just blaring in my eyes. I mean, I feel like I'm turning in circles. Everything's happening. What I'm feeling in that moment is just sheer anguish and anger and unknowing. I had no idea how to even take that information. I, my mind could not comprehend it. Who shot my son? At the hospital, Austin was pronounced dead on arrival. At that time, the Haley's also learned who had killed their son. A rookie police officer and his partner had answered a neighbor's call about a snake in a birdhouse. The rookie had fired two shots at the snake. One of the bullets had strayed, striking young Austin in the head. When they told us that, I was, I was contained anger. I said, God, why? Why did it have to happen to us? Why us? Why anybody? Why didn't you stop the bullet? Why didn't you put a stop to what happened? I just didn't understand. In the following months, the Haley's felt the loss more and more each day. The footsteps down the hallway between my two children went away. The house was silent. He was no longer here. And we would look at his pictures. And our family just felt like it was, time was frozen for us. Adding to the family's stress and grief was the ongoing investigation into the shooting. As they pursued justice, the town was divided on what punishment, if any, the officers should receive. Not only did we have to deal with, you know, our son being taken from us this way, but we had to deal with the public, even the officers that were involved with the shooting. They kept saying that there was nothing wrong with what they did and how they did it. Whenever I found out that there was really no reason for them to shoot those two shots, anger, hurt, rage, all of these emotions just come spewing out. And I tell you what, it was just more than I could take. Eight months later, the Haley's appeared in court as the officers, charged with second degree manslaughter, were given the verdict. The judge ruled that in addition to the 90 days of community service they already served, both officers would take a snake handling class and have their certifications revoked. This was still very disheartening to the grieving parents. Once their community service and probationary periods were done, their records were expunged. To us, that was not enough. Following the hearing, Jack and Renee were leaving the courthouse through the rear entrance when they came face to face with their son's killer. Unexpectedly, he dropped to his knees. His tears were streaming. He said, please, Forgive me, I did not mean to shoot your son. What do we do at that moment? He shot and killed our son, and we have to make a decision right then. I call out, oh God, please help me. Help me make this decision. What do we do? Immediately, I got this vision, a definite vision of Jesus hanging on the cross. Well, there were tears draining from his cheeks like there were tears draining for mine. He said, Father, forgive them. 
for they know not what they do. And I knew just without a doubt in my mind, I had to forgive. I just knew there's only one right way to go. And in that moment, it was to forgive him. We both reached down and lifted the police officer up off of his knees. And we said, we forgive you. And that day, we all hugged together and we cried together. We were all hurting together just for that moment of time. It's been over 15 years since that day in 2007, and the Haley's have welcomed two more children into their home along with Dalton, Gabriel Jeremiah, and Michaela Ruth. Still, they miss their son terribly. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, they all continue to forgive. I have to make a daily decision sometimes. I am very human. You know, I think that's okay. I think that God understands that. Even though I struggle with it every single day, still, it was the right thing to do. We will always miss Austin. No matter the pain, no matter the agony that I was in, I don't have to carry it alone anymore. It's not just my pain. I will never regret that decision of forgiveness.